In Brooklyn, a day of healing in Sunset Park, four days after a subway shooting that sent nearly 30 people to the hospital. Neighbors gathered near the scene of Tuesday's mass shooting to help one another process this terrifying attack. Some shared their own accounts of that day. And right now, the suspect, Frank James, is in isolation at the Metropolitan Detention Facility and on suicide watch. He's being held without bail. News 4's Jessica Cunnington is live in Sunset Park with the fears that remain for some several days later. Jessica? Yeah, Gilma, you have to think about the domino effect of what happened on Tuesday. If you live in this neighborhood, of course, you could have been on that train. You may know one of the victims in the attack. You heard the constant choppers up in the air. You saw the insane police response. You can't forget those things even as the days go by. So that is exactly why people who live in this neighborhood created this event for each other. I mean, I'm still scared. Four days later, Judy Robles, like so many others in Sunset Park, still feel the weight and anxiety of Tuesday's subway shooting. She was working at Maimonides Medical Center as they took in victims after the chaos. Her son was at a nearby school. Today, she stumbled upon this healing event in the park, put together by community organizations and local elected officials in just two days in response to the shooting to help move forward. We had to be together as a community, and I think this event actually is going to help a lot for us and for the kids also because they need to forget they're just children. Mental health is a focus of today's event, making sure people have resources to get through the trauma. After 10 people were shot on an end train during rush hour at the 36th Street station Tuesday and the nearly 30 hour manhunt that followed. Frank James in federal custody now accused of planning and executing Tuesday's attack. As I want to show everybody how I can be strong for everybody. Nelson Lung with the Brooklyn Chinese Association is not ready to go back on the subway just yet, but is making sure people leave here with hope during a very uneasy time. We want to everybody together and then we want uh, everybody feel go back to normal. Together we can be stronger as a community. Even though, you know, we've been hurt, we're not broken. Between art, music, and mental health professionals, today is about collective and continuous healing for this community. I'm hoping our constituents will get some tools that they can use um, when the dark times come. Just such a beautiful event today that was very, very much needed here in Sunset Park. Some organizations and some people have uh, packed up their things just to beat out the rain. But as you can see, some people are still just waiting it out, just feeling that feeling of being together during this time. In Sunset Park, I'm Jessica Cunnington, News 4 New York.